Fox 29's Jennifer Joyce caught up with a few of the athletes who are running for a reason. All right, runners. Stretching. As you know. Jogging. Time moves faster on race morning. Warming up for the third annual Philly Love Half Marathon. My last one I completed in two hours, so I'm hoping to do under two hours. Amber Mateo of Harleysville had a goal in mind as she, in a pack of 10,000, approached the starting line and took off for 13.1 miles along the Schuylkill, a scenic and uplifting route for runner Rob Cooper. When you go through the city and you go through like the museum steps and everything else, if you could just run and run with the gratitude and just enjoy the people and the scenery, it's beautiful. Jared Masterson of D.C. and Jason Prolucky of Colorado made the trip to Philly to show some love to their fiance Brooke and wife Ryan, who was running for a reason. She's 30 races by 30. I think this is number five right now, and so she has a year and a half to go. All while raising money for the nonprofit Big Dog's Huge Paws, a rescue back home in Colorado. My wife and mother-in-law are really passionate about dogs, and so they just wanted to try to raise some money for it. Way to go. Keep it up. Looking good, runners. Cheers on the sidelines going strong as runners clear the final curve before the finish. <laughs> Well, the first runner crossed the finish line at 1 hour, 10 minutes, and 13 seconds. We caught up with the first female to cross. She said the race was more challenging than she expected. It was really tough. Um, the hills up there, I had no idea how big they were. <laughs> Colin Barrett of Jenkintown says the curveball for him was the unanticipated freezing cold weather in April. The sun kind of makes it a little warmer, um, but, you know, 32 degrees to start is... Uh, it's a little chilly. It's for a good cause. The Philly Love Run donates some money back to the local community. Last year, a portion of the proceeds benefited the Philadelphia School District. Each year, money is shared with the Fairmount Parks Conservancy, the official charity partner of the run. In Aikens Oval, Jennifer Joyce, Fox 29 News.